Sound that you record into Reason appears as audio clips on the timeline, as you can see here. And these are nice and flexible. You can do a lot with them. You will see, for example, that they have a volume envelope. It's this sort of white or gray line running across the top here. And if you select the middle of it, you can see it's got some handles. You can turn the track up or down. That's actually turning the clip up or down, not the track. That doesn't affect the fader. You see that in the info line here, it's level changes. You can change that manually as well if you like. Uh, the two are linked. And the nice thing about that is that it means you can mix clips with different clip volume levels on the same track. So you don't have to, for example, automate this channel's fader up and down to uh, to have different volumes for different bits of sound on that track at different points in a song. Basically, think of these little volume envelopes as uh, a really nice way to to control volume independently of the mixer. And of course, the mixer channel has its own setting as well. So that's sort of the the main uh, volume setting for the whole of this track. But within the track, clips can have different volumes. They can also fade in and out, which is really nice. If you move to the left or the right and drag these handles, you can do auto fades. And again, you could achieve the same thing with uh, mixer automation, but this is easier and quicker actually and also it moves with the clip which is really nice if I was to move this clip you can see the clip volume envelopes stay in exactly the same place I just pressed Apple Z to undo that move because of course this clip is recorded in time so clips audio clips on the timeline behave very much like MIDI clips uh, in the way that they're arranged you can pick them up and move them about if you right click uh, you can cut, copy, delete them. Um, I'm going to come out of that just for a second. Now this clip has been recorded perfectly in time, obviously. What I'm going to do is duplicate it and start to edit it to show you how you can edit it. I don't actually want to uh, destroy my original take, so I'm going to right click on the track and simply select Duplicate Tracks and Devices. And that's given me a copy of my track. So I'm going to pick this copy up. I'm going to drag it up a little bit. Then I'm going to mute the existing tracks and minimize them just so it's a little bit clearer what I'm doing. I'm going to work on this copy track and then afterwards to go back to my original, I can either hide it or mute it or delete it. So let's start by having a look at how you can edit audio clips in the main arrangement view.